In this tutorial, I will show you how we can set up Power Automate to trigger when a new item is added to a Microsoft list. And we will send an email that includes a clickable email link to that list item, where we can then view as well as edit content. Hi, I'm Amy, let's nerd out. A quick note before we get started is that I have done another tutorial where I show you how we set up this flow as well as this email that pulls content for that newly created list item. And I will include a link to that video in the description so that you can check it out later. From the email body, you might be tempted to type link and then click this little lightning bolt icon and then search for link to item, which is right here. But when we save this flow, and then if we trigger it, let's add a new item and then save, you'll see why this doesn't necessarily work the way that you want it to. So here we have that email and you'll notice that that link pulls the link. If we copy it, and we can open up a new browser item, paste it into there. You'll see that we've been brought to that edit window, but we aren't able to click on it. So there's a lot of additional unnecessary steps here. So let's take a look at how we can make that link clickable. What we need to do is we need to edit this link in an HTML format. And I've already got the coding right here within Microsoft loop. So I'm just going to copy this, but I'll include a link in the description so that you can grab it and easily access it on your own. So now we can go back into Power Automate. I'm just going to remove this previous content that we had. And then now to go to the HTML editor, we click this little icon on the top right which says toggle to code view. Don't worry, it's super basic. You don't need to have coding skills. So now we have that HTML coding and I'm just going to remove this last P because I'm going to add it at the end. And if we paste that HTML code that I just grabbed, then now we just need to insert the variable here. So I'm going to select this text. We're going to keep those quotations there. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to click this little lightning bolt icon again. And then from here, we're going to search for that link to item. We'll go link, the link to item there. And then now we have insert display text here. So I'm going to select that. We can say click here. Okay. And that's all that we need to do. So now let's save this flow. Then if we trigger it one more time and then save, Let's take a look at that email. So here we have that email that has been triggered and we have that display text, which is click here. When we select on it, then we are now brought to that preview pane where we can preview and edit that list item. If you have other questions on how to use Power Automate, then drop a comment below and let me know.